Yo, guys, <laughs> it's been such a long time that I thought I'd do something different and I'm coming with the Hollywood, the Hollywood, the Hollywood sounds, guys. And guys, Urban Bars brings you the best UK reactions to rap, hip hop, and urban music from all around the world. And guys, it's been almost one whole week since I last came on to you guys. Seriously, really? Are you freaking kidding me? It's been an absolute nightmare, which I won't go into right now. But guys, when I logged in today, finally got things up and running. I've got a new microphone, I've got, you know, bits and bobs and blah, 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 whatever. So let's hope things are working. If not, I have to go back to the drawing board. But guys, tonight we have hip hop, gangster rap royalty. And that is Dr. Dre and our man Eminem, Marshall Mathers. Really? And guys, it also features another guy who is near and dear to my heart, guys. Sorry, that was the clapper. <laughs> and guys, just to let you know that from now on, I think I'm gonna have to show you guys, we've got the DOC. DOC. <laughs> this is the old track. Is it funky enough? And um, what was it? No one, oh my gosh, no one can do it better. I haven't checked this out for such a long time. That's one of my favorite DOC tracks from back in the days. And people, if you don't know who the DOC is, guys, the DOC, he was a brilliant MC, a brilliant rapper, a brilliant artist, and he was the original Kanye West. The DOC had an absolutely shocking automobile accident, ripped his vocal cords. Trust me on this, but he used to write for the NWA, and he was there. Check out the track, The Grand Finale. I love that. And also tracks like um, Pyramid, is it Pyramid Whirlwind? All those sorts of stuff, blah, 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 on his album. But the DOC, no one can do it better. Oh my gosh. Late 80s, circa 1990, the DOC was going to be the biggest thing in hip hop until his accident. Trust me on that, people. I know my stuff. But for now on, guys, I'm going to pull out the vinyl. The vinyl for the time. <laughs> Trust me on this, guys. I have thousands of records. Trust me on these people. Trust me. When I say I know my hip hop from back in the days, I know it and I can prove it. But guys, guys, forget about that now. It's just been so long that I'm just like all oh, insy and insy and antsy and whatever. But guys, nice to see you again, guys. Hope you haven't, you know, <laughs> fallen out with me. I hope you're still my friend. I'm so sorry. I've had so many problems. But guys, tonight I checked out. So we've got Dr. Dre, the track is called Gospel, featuring Eminem, the DOC, and guys, I just can't wait to hear it. So without any further ado. Yeah. Oh, the plinky plinky blink of the pianos. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, 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 Dre, you ready? Check, 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 check. Timeless, ready for him. Oh. Just getting started. Timeless, feeling like I'm just getting started. <sighs> guys, let's rewind. This is so good. I didn't realize, guys, it's it's not actually a video video because it's just the still of Dr. Dre and Marshall Mathers. But where's the DOC? Let's check it out, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Dre, you ready? Guys, I don't even know if any, any of you guys know, about a few months ago, Dr. Dre had a serious, did he have, was it an aneurysm? But there was 
you know, rumours on the internet, it was touch and go that Dr. Dre had had some kind of seizure stroke, something like that. I'm, sh I'm not sure it's an aneurysm, but it's something really serious, but he looks like he's back. He looks like he's dropped some poundage as well, you know, he looks fit, fit and healthy again. So I'm glad that Dr. Dre is back, guys. But you know what? Let's check him out one last time. Dr. Dre. Just get started. Two shots back for my daily departed. You are now dealing with a monster. Monster. Oh, shit. Profits. Dr. Dre, bitch. I'm a prophet. Wall Street. Niggas know where the stock is. Wall Street stocks. Niggas never see me, but it ain't hard to find me. Oh, yeah. Unwinding. Shit's blinding. Still grinding. Rising. Stop talking about the past. I'm the future, nigga. Ah. Ah. Nigga like me still here, motherfucker, go figure. Looking mm. for my next gold digger. This summer here gonna be colder than winter. Already told you I fold you like hundreds of billions and you can go miss it. Put that on my children. Bet that. Mm. Nigga what? Regret that. Run it up. And I'm gonna sum it up. This shit here, that problem. Living at the bottom of a bottle. Full mm. throttle. My model. Yeah. Fucking with me like fucking with the lotto. That hmm. awful the in your nostril, in a brothel. This is gospel. Yeah. Oh. I all that projects. I guess I guess I This is so well produced, guys. This is gospel. I love this music. I love sort of the keyboard, the piano orientated stuff, but it is so understated. There's so much going on in this production. And guys, I actually love the way Dr. A raps. I've always loved the way he raps. Well, since he sort of came out on his own kind of fit, I love the way he, you know, I know he doesn't write his own lyrics kind of thing. It's probably the DOC. The DOC getting funky in here. He probably wrote these lyrics because he's a bad, bad mama jammer. You know that, you know that. But guys, oh, this is taking me back. Yeah, satanic cult. It's an old ritual slaughtering. Like a satanic cult. It's an old ritual slaughter. See the way um, Eminem does his cadence. Like a satanic cult, it's an a ritual slaughter. Like it's a ritual slaughter. Oh, really? And he just came in, it was just so understated the way M just came into the track. Whoa. Here he comes. Like a satanic cult, it's an old ritual slaughtering goats, bitch. Yeah, you're yes, fucking with the original, no sick, and anybody can get it. COVID. Anybody can get it. COVID. But when he says stuff like anyone can get it, it reminds you of people, boxes like Adrian Broner, when he said he's the can man, anyone can get it. When he's talking about Mexicans, Africans, Americans, he's the can man, <laughs> anyone can get it. You gonna get it, get it? <laughs> oh man, and Marshall, let's get it. It's an old ritual slaughtering goats, bitch. Yeah, you're fucking with the original, no sick, and anybody can get it. Anyone can get it, so it. No shit, they were so sharp, I slit my own fucking throat, get it so rich. I got more chips than my shoulders, and I'm about as approachable as a roach. Hmm. So better steer clear Ooh. from it. Here comes a nuclear bomb for your eardrums, lyricism, and it's most. Oh, I love the way the music just changed up a little bit there. That was great. We say it like a nuclear bomb. Check it out. Better steer clear from it. Here comes a nuclear bomb for your eardrums. Lyricism at its most fearsome and fierce fearful. Another tear like a tear duct. Up a hash on your career sucking. It was sheer luck. Like, like a fucking leprechaun with his beard cut. With a punisher weapon drawn with a beer gut. I'll be slower than a decepticon with his ear stuck. Serial killing your Kellogg. Oh, sorry. Your checks on hate tricks. And you're a fake bitch. I can spot you like you about to weight lift. Bitch, I'm better than cake mix. I can't be whipped with egg beaters. You cunts must be out of your labias. <laughs> You must be out of your labias. Oh my gosh. The only thing I can say, guys, is you sea nuts must be out of your labias. Did M really just say that? Did M go there? Did M use the sea bomb? Did M use the... Really? Oh my gosh. Do you know what? It's been a week, guys. I've missed everything. I've not listened to any music whatsoever in a week. I've just been too... I've not even been well. I've had too many problems, guys. Systems, everything. Do you also? I've actually moved my location a little bit. I had to move the location a little bit. It's going to be like this for a little while until I, you know, sort of find out exactly where I want to move everything because I want to bring some new bits into here. But it's going to take some time, guys. But M, he just said you see nuts out of your labias. Really? Really? 
Oh my gosh, I've missed this. Oh, let's check it. Text like you like you about to make lift. Bitch, I'm better than cake mix. I can't be whipped with egg beaters. You can't be behind your labias. I can't be whipped with egg beaters. You see nuts must be out of your labias. Really? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hold on, guys. Let's hear M one more time. Your eardrums, fierce system, it's most fearsome and fierce. We're from another tier, like a tear duct. Up a hash of your career, sucking. What? Do a sheer luck, like like a fucking leprechaun with his beard cut. <laughs> Put a show weapon drawn with a beer gut. I'm slower than a Decepticon with his ears stuck. And I what? A serial kill in your Kellogg's. I love Texas. Oh, I didn't hear that. He said, I'm a serial kill in your Kellogg's. Kellogg's like Kellogg's cornflakes and stuff like that. Really? Um, um, this is great. This is understated, but great. Open the Decepticon with his ears stuck. And I fight a serial kill in your Kellogg's. I love checks and I hate tricks. And you're a fake bitch. I can spot you like you about to weight lift. Bitch, I'm better than cake mix. I can't be whipped with egg beaters. You cunts must be out of your labias. And got my alias. So if I don't have faith in me, then it basically makes me an atheist. Oh, he rhymed alias with atheist because he doesn't have faith in this. <sighs> this is great. Nick Diaz got the world by the tracheas and the chokehold and the sleeper. Oh, he's got the world by the tracheas. I say trachea, but they say trachea. Fair enough. You know that, you know that, you know that. Eminem, oh my gosh. Let's go back, guys. This is mad. With sheer luck, like, like a fucking leprechaun with his beard cut. With a punisher, weapon drawn with a beer gut. I'll be slower than a Decepticon with his ears stuck. And I fight a serial kill in your Kellogg's. <laughs> I love checks and I hate tricks. And you're a fake bitch. I can spot you like you about to weight lift. Bitch, I'm better than cake mix. Hmm. I can't be whipped with egg beaters. You cunts must be out of your labias. And God's my alias. So if I don't have faith in me, then it basically makes me an atheist. Hmm. Nick Diaz got the world by the trade gears and the choke hold and a sleeper. Yeah, and me and Dre are like dog hair. We're hmm. both in a lap, folks like retrievers. But like hmm. a dope, I'm in the retrievers. Mind. Animal mutt mix, but an overachiever. Oh, you're the king of rap. You're about to be overthrown like a pass over the head of an open receiver. Oh. Shit, I'm coming to blows like a wiener. But I ain't finished putting these holes through the ring of not close. In between the two rollers, of weight, no, what I mean is clothes and a woven. I'm trying to make bread by a tie while I'm sewing machine up. So, folks, if you don't give a I'm going to say something to you guys, <laughs> you're Stan fans, I'm an Eminem fan, trust me on that guys, Eminem's from Detroit, if anyone knows who I am and what I'm about, I'm from everything from Detroit, my favourite boxer, Thomas Hitman Hearns, Detroit, I'm into the Kronk boxing team, Detroit, Detroit Pistons, I'm into the Detroit Red Wings, I'm into anything Detroit, so don't say that I'm not an Eminem like her because I like Eminem I've always supported him from the very start but trust me on this guys Eminem always sounds better on other people's tracks and other people's beats trust me on that <sighs> seriously like when, when he rhymed um, with the game when he rhymes with Missy Elliott and others there's so many other tracks I love Em on other people's tracks I love Em on this track this track is understated I love it, but it, it, it's so much more funky. That's why I like Eminem, because there's more soul and funk on other people's tracks that he raps on. Because the, you know, people like the game, Dre, you know, when Dre makes beats for him, great, da 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 da. But a lot of the tracks M rhymes on, and M is fantastic lyricist, but I'm not, I don't really, I don't really feel so much of it because, nah. But when he raps on soulful records, that's when I feel it. And I feel it on this track, guys. Trust me on that. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Love it, guys. And that was, oh man. That was Dre, Eminem, and the DOC. Oh my gosh. And what was this? Was it, this is gospel? <sighs> guys, I love that track. I don't know about you guys, but I was not expecting to wake up to check this one out. And guys, this is my first reaction back for so very long. So very long. And thank you for sticking with me, guys, because I've got so much to catch up with. There are so many tracks out there that I've got to catch up with. Tomorrow's Tom's Day. I've got to do a track for Tom's Day tomorrow. And I said I was going to do one for Nova's Night as well. So guys, I've got to stick to what I'm saying, man. If not, my word is not bond. So guys, I'm going to be working double hard just to play catch up. Seriously, I'm, what? I've got to play catch up, guys. Seriously, seriously. Anyway, guys, this track, absolutely brilliant, out of out trap, fantastic. I can't say too much more about it. I love M's rhymes. I love Dr. Dre. I like, 
I love the music, I love the beats. But guys, let's see if I even remember what I do. Good, bad, or indifferent? Please let me know in the comment section, guys. And at the same time, please can you like and share and hit that notification bell just to let you know when Urban Bars is dropping another reaction. And guys, I know so many of you, and I thank you. I put out a couple of posts earlier on today just to thank you very much. I'm over 100,000 um, watch hours, etc. I'm something like nearly two and a half thousand comments from you guys. Thank you guys. Keep those comments rolling, please. And um, yeah, it's just, I'm just hitting so many different targets, guys, and it's been phenomenal. So please, can you keep supporting me? And the way to support Urban Bars, guys, is to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already hit it, please subscribe. I was going to be dropping some stuff um, for you guys. But it hasn't come to fruition because I've been let down by a few people. They've promised me something and didn't deliver, so I apologise for that. So when they do deliver, I find someone else. I will drop some stuff for you, just to say thank you very much because I'm approaching 1,500 subscribers. Seriously, really? I never ever thought I'd get anywhere near that, and that's all down to you guys. So guys, thank you very much, and as I always say, please. Have a great evening. We're coming up towards the weekend. So have a great weekend, guys. Look after yourselves. Look after each other. Have fun. And please can you tune into my next reaction. But guys, that was Dr. Dre. That was Eminem. That was a DOC. And I think it was called This Is Gospel. And guys, that was great. I really liked it. I hope you did. See you in the next reaction, guys. Take care. Bye.